Hey everyone, my name is Anu and in this video I am going to break down the perfect AI and ML engineer roadmap for you which is going to take you from zero to advanced even if you are a beginner in AI and ML. So everything that I've written here that I'm going to be talking about is completely beginner friendly and I'm also going to be sharing the free resources with you which I have explored and which you can learn from if you want to learn for free. If you want to go ahead and find a course which you think can help you learn in a more structured way the link is in the description below you can go ahead and check it out but overall in this video i'm going to share the free resources that i have used and that you can use as well so let's go ahead and start the video so the first thing that you have to do if you want to go ahead and start becoming an ai and ml engineer is you have to learn python so this is the basic programming language that you can learn and you have to learn here about variables loops functions you need to know about various data types like dictionaries lists and you also need to know about various libraries such as numpy pandas and matplotlib so to learn this you can learn from w3 schools if you want to learn for free and you should to practice data structures and algorithms you can focus on lead code easy to medium problems the number two thing that you have to do is you don't have to be a math genius, but you have to learn about what's useful. So particularly for machine learning, you have to learn about linear algebra, you have to learn about calculus, and you have to learn about probability and statistics. So if you want to learn, if you want to know where you can learn all of that for free, you can try out Khan Academy. And the other thing that you have to do is step three, which is you have to learn about core ML concepts. So this is very important if you become if you want to become a machine learning engineer. So you have to learn about what is supervised versus unsupervised learning. You have to learn about regression, classification. You have to learn about clustering. You have to learn about module evaluation, like what is accuracy, what is precision, what is recall, what is F1 score. And if you want a free resource for that, then Google has a free machine learning course which you can follow and, that, and I'll make sure that I keep the link in the description below so you can go ahead and check that out. The next step is to learn about deep learning and neural network. You, in neural networks, you have to learn about neural networks basics, which is going to be back propagation, what are perceptrons. In deep learning, you will have to learn about CNNs, you have to learn about RNNs, LSTMs. So all of these things that I'm saying, is not some buzzwords but it's actual ml algorithms that you have to learn about and i would say at this point you should also know about transformers you should know about attention mechanism you should and the libraries that you can explore here is tensorflow and pytorch so if you want to know about where you can learn all of that for free i would say you can check out deeplearning.ai so this site is also free and the next thing that you have to do is you have to start building projects you have to learn about deployments you have to learn about real world ai so you need to know how you can train and deploy ml models using flask or streamlet or gradio you need to know how you can use google collab how you can use the hugging face spaces and here you also need to know how to work with apis so in my previous video also i mentioned that you should know how to work with open ai apis or let's say gemini apis or you can how you can work with langchain so these are some things that you should know about and at this point you should also know how you can build ai agents if you use tools like langchain Flowwise or Autogen, then these are some ways that you can actually go ahead and start building AI agents. Next and final few tips that I would like to give you is that build a portfolio. So build a portfolio of projects that you can actually show to recruiters. You can actually tell people about it and you can also publish your projects on GitHub. And the other thing that you can do is you can share it on LinkedIn, you can share it on Kaggle or you can create a personal website as well and you should participate in competitions. So go ahead and participate in Kaggle competitions. You can participate in the AI hackathons. So these are some things that you can do. So overall, if you want a checklist, what you have to do is you need to do a, go ahead and learn about Python programming. You need to learn about maths. You need to know on a high level the machine learning algorithms. Then you need to know about deep learning and how you can use actually neural networks. And then you will go ahead and start building your projects. You will learn deployment. You will learn about how you can use these open AI APIs. 
and then finally you can post it on github you can post it on linkedin so that people know what exactly you're building and that's it that's all that you have to do start learning about AI ml so that's it for the video i hope you like this if you like it make sure you comment yes to show that you are going to be following this roadmap and make sure you subscribe for more such videos and i will see you in my next one until then bye bye